Hello friends, today we will see how conduction and breakdown will happen in commercial liquid. What is mean by commercial liquid? It contains the liquid impurities or not that we will see in this video. So when conduction and breakdown will happen in commercial liquid, first of all, it is the main value or the main objective of that what is mean by commercial liquid so commercial insulating liquids are not chemically pure means initially it contains the impurities in the form of solid particles or in the gas pockets and have impurities like gas bubbles or suspended particles. Suspended particles means small spherical solid particles. These impurities reduce the breakdown strength of this liquid considerably. Means as we have concern in the gaseous medium or in pure liquid medium. So compare with them there will be a breakdown strength of a commercial liquid will be low as compared with gas or as compared with pure liquid. The breakdown mechanism are also considerably influenced by the presence of these impurities. Means initially the commercial liquids contains a more impurities than that of air and liquid, pure liquid. So it will be influenced by impurities. In addition, when breakdown occurs in this liquid, additional gases and gas bubbles are evolved and solid decomposition products are formed. So when breakdown occurs due to that impurities, there will be a some more gases will be evolved and gas bubbles also evolve and decomposition of that products will be happen due to this impurities. Next, the electrode surface becomes rough. So as it contains the impurities in commercial liquid, there will be a electrode means anode and cathode in the process in it is gas chamber in air medium, but in a commercial liquid medium that will be immersed that cathode and anode will be immersed in commercial liquid and that electrode surface will be becomes rough and at times explosive sounds are heard due to generation of impulsive pressure through the liquid means when there will be a corona losses in a transmission line there will be a hissing noise when the conduction process will happen in commercial liquid a generation of impulsive pressure means due to the impurities there will be a pressure created that is called as a impulsive pressure through the liquid. The breakdown mechanism in commercial liquid is dependent means it is dependent on several factors and what are the factors? The nature and condition of electrodes means either the electrode means cathode and anode is new or whether it is used so this is the condition of electrode then again second thing was the physical properties of the liquid physical properties of the liquid means its melting point either it having more melting point low melting point or either it is consist of low boiling point or high boiling point so depending upon the position or depending upon the physical properties of the liquid several factors that is affected in conduction commercial liquids are this and impurities and gases present in the liquid gases means volatile of oxygen in liquid so these are the three condition or these are the three factors that are affected in conduction of commercial liquids so to explain the commercial liquid phenomenon conduction and breakdown in commercial liquid phenomenon there will be a two theories was proposed that is suspended particle mechanism it is related with a small spherical solid particle that is consist in commercial liquid this is the first phenomenon and second thing is cavitation and bubble mechanism means when there will be a gas pockets are formed 
in a commercial liquid and when there will be solid particles. So first theory that is suspender particle mechanism can be shown as in commercial liquids the presence of solid impurities cannot be avoided means already it is contained. And second thing, these impurities will be present as fibers or as dispersed solid particles. Means that solid particles are not unitly combined. It will be dispersed along the liquid. The permittivity of this particle that is X plant 2 will be different from the permittivity of the liquid. So that the permittivity of liquid that is commercial liquid is not matching with that solid particles or the impurities we can say so x plan 2 means permittivity of that particles will be always more in cavitation bubble theory it will seen so how force will be created due to that dispersed impurities will be f is equal to 1 upon 2 r cube into x plan 2 minus x plan 1 as x plan 2 is more value divided by 2 x plan 1 plus x plan 2 gradient of e square gradient of e square means here a high voltage source were applied in commercial liquid so gradient of that e square so for getting the force exerted on the solid particle we can get the equation from that we can calculate a force here mention that if we consider these impurities to be spherical particles means it is in spherical shape of radius r or in a circle shape of radius r and if applied field is e means we applied the high voltage and it will be regarded as e then the particle experience of force f that particle contains a force f and that can be shown by this equation f is equal to 1 upon 2 r cube into x plan 2 minus x plan 1 divided by 2 x plan 1 plus x plan 2 and gradient of e square. So this is the force value. This force is directed towards areas of maximum trace. If x plan 2 greater than x plan 1 means the force is exerted where permittivity of that solid particle are more than that of the liquid. For example, in the case of presence of solid particles like paper in the liquid, on the other hand, if only gas bubbles are present in the liquid, that is x plan 2 greater than x plan 1, means when there will be a solid particle x plan 2 always greater than x plan 1 and in case of the gas bubble x plan 2 greater than x plan 1 but as compared with a solid particle and gas bubble x plan 2 value will be more in solid particles the force will be in the direction of areas of lower stress means when there will be a gas bubbles the force exerted by the conduction process is in the lower stress area if the voltage is continuously applied continuous voltage means they are having the no frequency means simply we can say it is dc voltage or the duration of the voltage is long means when ac voltage are provided then this force drives the particles towards the areas of maximum stress means where the maximum stress are more that particle will be moved towards that particular area in the voltage source either AC voltage source or DC voltage source. If the number of particles present are large means when there will be a more number of particles large number of particles they becomes aligned due to this force and thus form a stable chain bridging the electrode gap causing a breakdown between the electrodes. So when there will be a more particles or we can say in commercial liquids the impurities contains are more they can be aligned in one region and the conduction phenomenon will happen in slightly greater manner. If there is only a single conducting particles between the electrode, it will give rise to a local field enhancement depend on its shape 
means as considered with more number of particle when there will be a single particle the conduction phenomenon will happen or it will take the lower time if field exceeds the breakdown strength of the liquid local breakdown will occur near the particle and this will result in the formation of gas bubbles so gas bubbles are formed as breakdown occur which may lead breakdown of the liquid so in this theory that is cavitation or bubble theory we can say the breakdown will be happen due to solid particles the values of breakdown strength of liquid containing solid impurities was found to be much less than that in the pure liquids means in pure liquid there will be a no impurities so hence in this case the value of breakdown strength is less the impurity particles reduce breakdown strength second thing and it was also observed that the larger size of the particles the lower were the breakdown strength means the particle contents in spherical shapes is more so there will be a low breakdown strength means we can simply say in commercial liquid as compared with air and gas the breakdown strength is less second theory as we have seen last as a suspended particle theory for breakdown phenomenon second theory was cavitation and bubble theory in cavitation and bubble theory it was experimentally observed that in many liquids in many commercial liquids the breakdown strength depends strongly on the applied hydrostatic pressure here in cavitation theory they have mentioned that applied hydrostatic pressure is more or the depends on strength of the liquid suggesting that change of phase of medium is involved in breakdown process which in other word means that the kind of vapor bubble form is responsible for breakdown means in cavitation and bubble theory the breakdown will happen due to gas pockets or gas pockets impurities are contained in the commercial theory or in commercial liquid so there are will be some processes that will be affected to that conduction phenomenon the following processes have been suggested to be responsible for the formation of vapor bubbles so there are some processes that will create a vapor bubbles and that processes are gas pockets at the surface of electrodes means if electrode contains the gas pockets in its surfaces it will create a vapor bubble second thing is that electrostatic repulsive forces between space charges which may sufficient to overcome the surface tension whence there will be a repulsive forces electrostatic repulsive forces it will create a vapor bubbles then second thing is gaseous products due to dissociation of liquid molecules by electron collision gaseous products which contains the impurities or which can take part in the collision process so due to which gas pockets are formed second thing is that is the last vaporization of the liquid by corona type discharge from sharp points and irregularities on the electrode surface so when there will be a vaporization of the liquids the gas bubbles are formed and hence there will be a processes that is four processes to create the vapor bubbles and that will be take part in conduction of commercial liquid so when that gas pockets are created in the commercial liquid once that bubble is formed it will elongate in the direction of the electric field means the direction in electric field in which they are applied so that will elongate that bubble will elongate in that direction due to some of the electrostatic forces second thing the volume of bubble remains constant during the elongation means when we apply a high voltages to create the cavitation or bubble theory or the gas pockets in a commercial liquid so elongation of that gas bubbles will be in the direction of the electrostatic force applied and the volume cannot be changed it will constant breakdown occurs when the voltage drop 
along the length of the bubble becomes equal to minimum value on the Poisson curve for the gas bubble. So, breakdown occurs in cavitation or according to cavitation and bubble theory when there will be gas brackets are contained in commercial liquid. So, in previous suspended particle theory, we have shown one force exerted on the suspended particles. Here are the breakdown occur or the force created due to breakdown that can be shown as E0 is equal to 1 upon x plus 1 means the permittivity of liquid minus x plus 2 permittivity of gas bubbles into 2 pi sigma sigma means here a surface tension of liquid into in bracket x plus 1 x plus 1 plus x plus 2 divided by r means radius of that particles or radius of gas bubbles initial radius it is initial radius of gas bubbles minus into pi by 4 root of vb upon 2 r e naught minus 1 here vb means voltage drop into e raise to or 1 by 2 so this is a breakdown field which can be happen in cavitation and bubble theory so from this equation it can be seen that breakdown strength depends on initial size of the bubble means initially what is the size of the bubbles that will take parts in conduction phenomenon which in turn is influenced by hydrostatic pressure means its size will be created or side will be affected by hydrostatic pressure and temperature of the liquid so thank you for watching this video stay tuned with ekida subscribe ekida